So we're going to have a look at two problems here involving the differentiation of expressions that have uh, variables that have negative powers involved in them. So the first question that we're going to explore is given that the curve y equals ax squared uh, plus b over x has a gradient of negative 5 at the point of x equals 2, y equals negative 2, find the values of a and b. So the first thing that I would like to do here is just rewrite this expression of y. I'm going to rewrite it so that I can express it without any fraction. And that would mean that I have a negative power there. And this makes it easier for me then to establish what dy dx is going to be. And I'm going to say here that dy dx equals 2ax minus b x to the negative 2. And I might then rewrite the equations in their, um, with their fractional forms. So b on x. And dy dx equals 2ax minus b all on x squared. Now what we want to establish with this um, problem is we need to write this statement of when x equals 2, what have we got? We've got y equals negative 2, but we also have dy dx equaling negative 5. And we can find a, two equations essentially out of this information. So we can say that when x equals 2, y equals negative 2, this is going to give me negative 2, a, 2 squared, plus b on 2, and this gives me negative 2, 4a, plus b on 2. Now this is taken from this equation, but I don't really don't like this type of expression. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by 2, and you'll see why I'm doing that. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this expression by 2. So that's going to give me negative 4 equals 8a plus b. With this expression now, which I'm going to call equation 1, okay, I don't have any fractions that I have to deal with, which is going to make things a little bit easier for me when I'm going to have to resolve, a, resolve for a and b using simultaneous equations. Now, the other aspect that we have is when x equals 2, dy dx equals negative 5. So I'm going to write this as negative 5, 2a times 2, minus b on 2 squared. And this equals negative 5, 4a, minus b on 4. Now, like so with the other expression, I really don't like this fraction, this fraction here. So I'm going to get rid of it by multiplying both sides by 4. Now, that gives me negative 20 equals 16a minus b. And this is what I'll call equation 2. Now, obviously, I've got two unknowns, unknown variables, a and b. So I need two equations to be able to solve them simultaneously. And by getting them in this form, I should be able to solve them quite easily simultaneously just by using elimination. Now, I'm going to be eliminating b here, and the way that I would eliminate it is I'm going to add the expressions together. So here I'm going to have negative 24 equals 24a, and a here will equal negative 1, which is part of our answer. But I haven't finished because I need to establish what b is going to be. So I'm going to use the first equation to establish b, and I'm going to say negative a, um, a equaling negative 1 plus b. So negative 4, negative 8 plus b, b should equal 4. 
And this is the correct answer. The next question is to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve with the expression y equals 16 all over 3x cubed plus x at the point of x equaling 1, y equaling 4. So to start this equation off, I'm going to do a similar thing that I did in the last one. I'm going to rewrite y to make it easier for myself to differentiate it. And I'm going to write it in that form, and I'm going to approach this using the chain rule. So what I'm going to say here is I'm going to say let u equal 3x cubed plus x du dx is going to equal 9x squared plus 1. Okay, and therefore y equals 16u to the negative 1. If I resolve for dy dx, I get negative 16u to the negative 2. I might choose to rewrite this in its fractional form. And I might substitute u in for 3x cubed plus x all to the squared. And then I can establish that dy dx is going to be du dx times dy dx. Uh, sorry, mm -hmm. I'm just needing this up. This shouldn't be dx. This should be du, dy du. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be multiplying these two expressions together. And I'm going to choose to write dy dx like so. And there I found my derivative function. Now the question, if I return to the question, it's saying what is the gradient of the tangent, so effectively what is dy dx, at the point 1, 4, really saying when x equals 1. So I'm going to start here by saying when x equals 1, dy dx equals negative 16, 9 plus 1, all on 3 plus 1, all squared. And if I bring this to um, its natural conclusion, I get negative 16 times by 10 on 16. There's a nice cancellation here. Always love the cancellations. And I get negative 10. And that is correct response.